So, right now, today, I just got off of working at Cool Fire, that cool building, and I am going to go over to uh, drop off my jacket as a seamstress because it is ripping. Yeah, you see like these rips and whatnot, that's like all over this jacket, and so I was thinking that instead of just fixing the jacket by like sewing over those, uh, I want to do an over sew. Like, I want to do a lot of sewing over those. And so, it, it's I want to do a different color. I want to accents all of the really cool like flaws in the jacket. And uh, sure, it won't look like it what it used to, but who cares? It's not going to look like what it used to anyway. So, that's the plan. On the way, we will be talking about something I just learned, which is uh, somebody, Casey Neistat put out a video talking about discipline and freedom. So he invited some Navy SEAL dude to communicate why he gets up at four in the morning. And to emulate that, I would like to increase my own discipline. You know, maybe sometimes you just have to go to the extremes to accomplish your dreams. Also, I would like to talk to you guys about uh, an experience I had with my sister, Alicia. She, she's not blood sister, but she is um, definitely my sister. She's from Peru. Our fam family uh, took her in. She sponsored her over here on some program where she would nanny our family. And so now she's like my sister. So she wanted a camera that would help her take better pictures with her family and I was thinking DSLRs and fancy whatnot like this and it turns out that I didn't get her that I got her this really really simple tripod mount to mount her cell phone onto it and that includes uh, taking like I don't know in my mind, I was thinking, oh, she wants to like, she wants to buy a DSLR, she wants to buy a camera, but no. Later, I realized that she wasn't, after trying to find a camera, I realized that she doesn't want a camera. She wants something that's easy. Because I would say, well, how about this camera? And then she would say to me in reply, well, can it, what can it do that my cell phone can't? Can it take quick pictures and blah, blah, blah? It's like the same logic that every non-photographer has. And so how do you sell to a non-photographer? Well, you don't. You don't sell them a camera because that's not what they want. And so I learned that uh, my sister Alicia uh, was instead for looking for a way to take pictures easier. Not better pictures. It's what she meant, but it's not what she said. So, here was my solution. As we were walking through Best Buy, we are looking at this camera, we are looking at that camera. Uh, there was nothing I could say about any camera, about what it could do, versus what her cell phone could. And then she instead started looking for cell phones that were way more pricey than the cameras she was going to buy. So I was very confused, needless to say, until I pinned it on the head. She wasn't looking for a camera. She was looking for a way to take better pictures. So we got her a tripod. I, was, I sold her my old tripod. Uh, which was a very easy task. She was already asking for it. And then I helped her find something that could help her take better pictures, like a tripod mount. 
like the Joby camera or Joby cell phone mount that you can put on a tripod. And so we got that and uh, voila, problem solved. If you have to sell something to someone and they're asking about that you offer something bigger and better, right? That should work for them, right? But then they're like, well, what, how is that better than this cheaper option? Then they're not really looking for, and like, and it's even more obvious if they go towards another angle where they're like, uh, they're looking for way more expensive things, but weren't in the direction you're thinking, which means that they aren't thinking about the type of thing that you are. You are not on the same page. So you need to get on the same page. Anyway, I think that's it for my rant there. I saved her hundreds of dollars that she would have spent on a camera that she wouldn't have used. I'm gonna now go buy a tripod because, or a tripod head because I have a tripod, but um, it just ain't good enough. No, I don't have a tripod head to go with it, which is the problem. As you can tell, I didn't get around to uh, um, giving my jacket to the seamstress, but um, ah, we'll do it another time. Well, that's it for me, guys. Uh, I'll see you next time. Interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, is there something about the industry that they just don't like keeping things in stock and prefer keeping them <laughs> in, the, in the internet? <laughs>